Okie dokie. This is going to be a quick video. But in the last video that I posted, I noticed that there is just a lot of confusion. And maybe this will clear some of it up. Maybe it won't. And that's okay too. But um, this just kind of came out. I wrote this and I wanted to share it. And it is about psychedelics and specifically about psychedelic shamanism and the possible potential role of psychedelics in the context of truth, truth realization, liberation, awakening. So here we go. Psychedelics are an experience just like any other, just like meditation. A passing moment in time and one must understand that one's ability to fully let go into that moment is a mirror for life resistance in a psychedelic experience is resistance to life itself and I'm not saying that you should believe what you experience with psychedelics or even that you should try to make meaning of it because honestly, that's just another trap. What I'm saying is to meet it, to feel the whole of it, to let go into the wholeness and completeness of the moment. The colors, the sounds, the sensations, the pain, the emotions, the stories, nothing left out that is freedom and that's where minds get confused a mind wants to understand the moment or even to change the moment but in doing so the moment as it is is lost resistance to any experience and especially a psychedelic one or even a psychedelic one is resistance to the unknown, which is ultimately resistance to life itself. The power of a shaman or facilitator who is worth their weight is to act as a grounding rod for that confrontation with the moment and to themselves and for themselves to be completely immersed in that moment and that requires a self not being there actually the purpose of a shaman is not to be talking to spirits or traveling to other worlds <laughs> because that is just more imagination and make-believe and imagination and make-believe breeds more imagination and make-believe the role of a shaman is to be grounded in reality. To be so fully immersed in the completeness of the moment that the consciousness of the group or of whoever is being facilitated for, that the consciousness of that group or individual can't help but be drawn to the moment like a magnetic force. just like any spiritual teacher or guru who's worth their weight. And that magnetic force towards the moment in its completeness with nothing left out is the real spiritual teaching, the only spiritual teaching. <laughs> 